buzzer. <laughs> okay. We are playing with Tom. Kelly Maureen has just opened her seltzer. I assume it's a seltzer. <laughs> You sound like one of those old uh, text-to-speech things on, like, a handheld <laughs> baseball game. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, Marine, versus the Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, Marine, is only one woman. Yeah, actually, I would definitely lose in any contest versus multiple Tigers. <laughs> Especially physical Tigers, not like the San Francisco Tigers. And I'm here with my friend Annie Mock. We are Gamer Gals or Go. We're it's great true. at intros and outros. Everyone's it's true. Says it. It's true. That's our number one comment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now that now that I named them the San Francisco Tigers, I imagine them being like, you know, like clearly like butch, effeminate gay man. Okay, I have the cutest reason for having said Tigers. It's oh that, yeah, yeah. It's that um. Maybe I should stop giving out this many personal details, but... Uh, <laughs> Go on. Ah, whatever, no one watches the show. Anyway. It's <laughs> not true! I um, know, we have dozens of partially loyal uh, enthusiasts. It's true, it's true. Uh, um, maybe one day we'll convert into fans. Uh, they're fans. I'm kidding, Annie. Go on, go on. Uh, pfft, my girlfriend, uh, who works at the uh, university, their mascot is Tigers. And... Oh. Uh, she basically has tenure, mm -hmm. and I'm sure the other academics who are tenure track will know what I mean by equivocating like that. Mm -hmm. um, and so, as a present, she got herself a big, squishy, round, plushy tiger that just oh, arrived. Oh, I love it. Yeah, love it's real it. cute. Okay, let's see here. You know what else I love about... Uh, oh, spoiler alert, by the way, it's Monday. We had to move uh, this recording to Monday. I'm off my meds uh, on Mondays. Uh, for a stockpile, so strap in. <laughs> Just my brain meds. Just my brain meds. <laughs> I apologize funny. in advance. Oh my god, I love it. Um, uh, Look at you go. I am strapped in. Um, I'm not actually. That's I good. You should do that. I'll, uh, a good lumberjack will always strap in before climbing the tree. Oh, that's actually true. Um, this also works for large men, by the way. <laughs> in um, flannel. Oh, yeah, the, the San Francisco Tigers, they're all flannel-wearing uh, homosexuals with, with mustaches and beards. There you go. They all look like uh, my handsome former editor, Greg Lockard. Um, uh, uh, wonderful gay man who used to work for, uh, he used to edit me when I uh, wrote comics for anthologies for DC Vertigo. <laughs> and, and how do you spell his last name? <laughs> uh, well, he's out. Uh, L O C K A R. He's out as gay. Um, what? Why? Why is that your response to being asked how to spell his name? <laughs> oh, oh, because your transcription. Yes. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah, I but understand. now I want to know what your comment was about. I'm way more interested in that now. Oh, because I thought you were like, and I thought you were joking. Like, how do you spell his last name for like? Uh, because I quote unquote outed him, but he's totally wow. Out. Wow, that's, that's that's how I got there. Um, that is illustrative. Yes. Um, what am I supposed to be doing here exactly? Paging Doctor Freud. Oh, well, not Freud. I I'm not yeah. sure he's the one we want here. He's definitely never the one we want. Hey, Freud, um, what do you think about the fact that someone may or may not be? Whoa, whoa. Oh. Okay. This game is a. Uh... I don't know. Tell me more. Um, yeah, I should probably mention, since we didn't actually talk about this. What? Uh, for the people in the audience, I'm currently going through an identity crisis based around um, transcription in general and how YouTube oh. keeps changing how it works and making it harder for me to do it at all. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, this is important to know. Kelly, yeah. um, the uh, accept our accessibility mistress and accessibility right. mistress on part-time unpaid accessibility mistress. Yes, and uh, mm. accessibility mistress on the game, the Wii U and PC game. Uh, <laughs> well, how do you call it? <laughs> that was paid. I'm not going to tell you how much, but it was measured in cents. Uh, <laughs> what was the game called again? 
It was called Blockara, and Nintendo's yes. Wii U royalty program. I'm not allowed to talk about it, but let's just say I have... I have notes <laughs> for how it could be approved. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I'm sure. That's too late now, it's fine. Anyway, uh, yeah, long, long story short, the long and short of it is... Um, by the way, did you notice there that you did, in fact, jump off of the green cube? Wait, what am I supposed to be doing? I'm just pointing out that you did, in fact, do that. I alluded to that earlier, and you, you like, went crazy trying to wonder what I meant by that. Oh, yes! Um, also, <laughs> we did, in fact, I, I conceded to that <laughs> this tree um, is as big as a skyscraper, solely based off the fact that Kelly went above and beyond and made a graph. A graph that was even cute and, and, <laughs> and aesthetically proper to the game. I said that I would. I'm a woman of my word. It's true. Incredible. Unfortunately, I have to break my own vows because I did say that I would I would do I would do whatever it took to make sure that our show had good subtitles. And what I've learned is uh, YouTube and Google, they're a big tech company and they make choices that do not take my RSI into account. What is RSI? Uh, repetitive strain injury. Mm-hmm. So, because they have made a choice that I can't even disagree with, because uh, it does make the auto transcription feature, it makes the transcript easier to read, which is the primary function uh -huh. of the transcript, not to be converted oh, oh, oh. <laughs> into subtitles, right? Okay. Um, so now, if you, if you click on the transcription, you'll get, like, more lines per line, so it's easier to read. And they're kind of formatted in a way that it tries to make them make more sense. It's not good at it, but it is more readable. So I support that goal. But what it does mean is that the raw material that I used to make our subtitles out of requires far more editing on my end now. And I'm sad to report that, uh, any already knows this, but uh, I made three different versions of the subtitles to test on last week's episode. And unfortunately, uh, the one that worked out the best was also the one that was the most work for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, my hands are still hurting from it. And it was oh, days God. ago. Oh God. Like I, I just have, part. I can't, I can't figure out a way to do that much typing related work in either a time, like <laughs> so that it doesn't take me seven hours or so that it doesn't hurt my wrists and hands for days afterward. Okay. So, I'm just telling everybody that I'm. if ever we don't have subtitles on the show, just know that I know that. I feel really weird about it, and if we had more money, we would hire someone to do it full-time. But it is full-time work, it is a lot of work, and quite frankly, the way, the way that we talk on the show is not conducive to automatic transcription, but because no. of all the... because of all the, all the concessions I have to make for it to not take seven hours to transcribe, what we end up with is not miles better than the automatic transcription is anyway. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I had to make so many compromises. So I just want to let everyone know that if the subtitles are bad, I know that and I'm doing my best. But it turns out that like uh, this show that I do uh, primarily for fun isn't really worth not being able to use my hands when I want to. No, uh, definitely not. Definitely <laughs> not. I remember, yeah. That, Having to not work in a factory anymore was uh, a bummer, but it let me recover, and I'm not going to have any chance of recovery if I just do different repetitive stress things with my hands. Yeah, especially for no money. Well, I mean, I'm what, yeah, I probably shouldn't, but because of my lifestyle, I am uh, unusually willing to do pro bono accessibility work because mm -hmm. it's what I believe in and like yes if there's not going to be money for it the least I could do is do it you know whenever I can but mm -hmm. yeah I I just had to face I was in a real dark place mm -hmm. when I found out because I was ready to say none of the subtitles worked it's now way too much work YouTube screwed me over I'm sorry I did everything I could but it was almost worse than it worked because mm -hmm. it's like so it was so much more work right mm -hmm. like now now I have to be the one to be like, ah, I don't know if it's worth hurting myself. Uh, it's not. I'm I'm sure most people would agree that it's not. I just Wait. I sometimes I can be kind of stubborn when I put my mind oh, somewhere. Oh, oh, I get it. Oh okay. There you go. Okay. I figured it out. Um, so maybe I 
can make little rock person, climb nose person, and uh, wait, nope, that's not good. Okay, so wait, let's... uh, how much more do we have on the timer? I uh, did it again. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Uh, we only are ten minutes in. Okay, great, thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, let's do this. One of the things I love about this game is that it's deceptively simple. Mm -hmm. Where just play like it it gives you more mechanics slowly. Yes. At a, at a good pace. But it's also things that you would naturally want to do. Yes. Given the, the little characters that you got. It's really clever. Also, in um, in case Keita Takahashi watches this one too, uh, sorry if I got any of your bi biographical details wrong when I was like, um, what's the word? Summarizing my awareness uh, <laughs> of your career. Uh, well, he definitely made uh, playground equipment. Um, well, he definitely proposed it. I couldn't find any evidence that they actually went ahead and built any oh. of it, which I was a little bummed about because. Sad. My brain was living in a world where that did eventually happen. I want to live in that world. I know, definitely. I do too. I'm afraid it would also have to be a world without lawyers. But... <laughs> yeah, it would oh, be. Oh well. And, uh, and pigs, and, uh... You and I are actually old enough to remember, um... When the bottom of the playground... Yes. ...was dirt and rocks. It was not... <laughs> <laughs> or grass if you were lucky, right? I do remember. And, I do and the remember. kids, the kids would trample the grass, so the grass wouldn't even be there. Like, if 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 I say playground, and you imagine a, a, any kind of cushiony surface, even those like wood chip things that are made out of soft wood, if that's what you're imagining, guess what? Fewer of you and your peers died. <laughs> <and did. laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be so morbid. Broke their legs. For instance, doing "quote unquote" butt ups, as did my <laughs> friend Brian. Butt ups. <laughs> butt ups are when you are in fifth grade and you have an undiagnosed uh, hyperflexibility condition. Uh huh. Uh, but unlike me, uh, who also fit that description in the <gasps> oh, fifth grade, oh, oh. you are reasonably athletic, and so you, oh, no. you basically it's you cross your legs mm -hmm. and you put your hands through your legs. And you grab a horizontal bar and you mm -hmm. do pull-ups, but because of the position you're in, uh, they're butt-ups, actually. Like, your mm -hmm. butt goes up. Mm -hmm. um, and this is very funny, and everyone loves it until you fall off the geodesic dome and break your leg uh, oh, wow. and arm. Oh, no, oh, no. Wait, I think I can get up the tree at this point. How, okay, now what if I walk Nose Man? I have... Okay, yes, 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 we are doing this. This is amazing. Okay, yes. This whole game is amazing. It truly is. I'm so excited. I was reminded, <gasps> yes! actually. Oh! I did it. I did it. I did it. Shadow of the Colossus theme dot mp3. <laughs> okay. Yes! Okay. Borrow. <gasps> Hell yeah. I, I love that. that it's borrow and not take. That sh It should be like that in every video game. In every video game, when you barge into someone's house and like open a treasure chest and take all of their medicine, it, the prompt should say borrow. Like, we know yeah. that it's a lie, but it should just say that, right? Yes, definitely. <laughs> oh, here Who comes knew the... that trees were such dicks? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is true, right? That is essentially what trees do. What? What do they do? Well, they, they take raw materials and turn them into fruit, and the fruit turns into more trees, or whatever. Circle of life. How does it make them dicks? Oh, they're not. They're, <laughs> they're totally nice to everybody. I, I'm pretty sure that, well, that depends on whether or not you are concrete, but... Oh, yeah, I guess so. I'm, I'm pretty... Wait, I'm concrete sort of, is not a... It's not a everybody. Neither is a tree. I mean, it's more of an everybody than a concrete. It's a living yeah. form. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. Um, but I'd be willing to admit here that my personal beliefs are that human beings are the only animal that got far enough to be called dicks. Yeah, I got you. I definitely agree. Yeah. 
The real dick was whoever created some of the cutest animals in the world that when you learn too much about them, you, you hear about some of their behavior and you go, oh no. Oh, like dolphins and koalas? Like dolphins. Yeah. And koalas. Ko wait, koalas? Don't tell me. I haven't learned this one yet. I will inevitably. You don't have to tell me. Do you not I want to tell you or do you want me to tell you? I don't. I don't. Okay, then I won't. Look, they're so cuddly. <sighs> I won't then. Yeah, no, it's... Let me have some of my innocence. Okay, you you have some, but... Yeah. Oh, wait! Did I eat the red off that strawberry? Precious little. I did! Wait, now it's a broccoli?! I ate the green off the broccoli?! I've never reached this pitch in this in this show <laughs> ever once. You're right! I don't think you have! <laughs> I'm so joyful, I'm like a little child. Yeah, so, um, I was reminded after we, um, after thinking about last week's episode that, uh, uh I, I actually had forgotten that I had pre-ordered a play date. Do you know what those are? Oh, yes! I'm so excited yeah. to hear that. Adorable little yellow handheld with a hand crank. Um, yes. I'm supposed to get mine, uh, they had, understandably, uh... Delays. What's that? Delays. Yeah, um, manufacturing problems, like everybody trying to make technology and ship it right yep. now. But uh, mm -hmm. it's supposed to arrive sometime this year, and I'm very excited because I had actually forgotten that one of the games that's uh, going to be released for it is... Keita Takahashi is making a game about a sad, floppy robot. <gasps> oh my god, I can't wait! Right? Like, why don't you just put it in my veins right now? <laughs> I need that. I am a sad, floppy robot! Like... Oh my god, I can't wait. Um... <laughs> Welcome table. Yeah, get hype. Oh my god. Oh I don't want to say god. that everybody should be friends with me, but I am saying that if you become friends with me, then you get to try all those like silly, questionable, one-off game systems that get made, because I'm a sucker for a gimmick. Are there it's other ones? Oh, there's a bajillion. Yeah, I own a Virtual Boy, Annie. Oh yes. That's not a one- oh, it is a one-off, I guess. Joe, um, it, Eddie, it was at best a 14 off. There were 14 American games released. For I know, that I'm aware. Yeah. I have a 3DO. I do not have any games for my 3DO. I have a copy of Crash and Burn that's too scratched to load. But I have a 3DO. So, if you ever want to come see a 3DO and put an I audio CD in there. I and... will look at it. Um, I'm sure going to your house. Uh, you will see it. <laughs> in a couple weeks. Very I would, excited. I, I would honestly need convincing to hook it up, though. No, you don't have to hook it up. I just want to look at it. Um, yeah. Look at all your. It's systems. got a. It's got a really fun music visualizer. One of my favorites. Oh wow. Um. Oh my gosh. Um. I'm so happy <laughs> playing this game. I know. Um, uh. Anyway, I was gonna say yes. I'm very excited to ask to play your Virtual Boy, and I'm very excited to ask to play Super Mario World. And I'm I'm very excited to find out if my Virtual Boy's right mirror is still in operational condition. Oh God, um, is it maybe broken? Ah, uh, okay. So one of the things that sucks about being a person who is about <gasps> to turn forty that has liked video games that whole time is that. Unbeknownst to the part of my brain that decided I needed to collect them, uh -huh. uh, it's at war with the part of my brain that can't really be good at repairing electronics because my brain just doesn't work that way. Yeah. And it turns out most electronics have a shelf life. Their capacitors and shit yes. tend to like just decide they don't want. Like sometimes they explode and. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so the Virtual Boy is unique in that. Uh, <laughs> for cost-saving reasons that I won't go into. Oh, yeah. Go on. Instead of having an entire... Instead of having two tiny red LED screens, like people assume... Yeah. It has one strip of LEDs for each eye that strobes the entire picture back and forth. So to reassemble the picture, it has a physically oscillating, vibrating mirror in each eye. Oh, that which sounds is very comfortable. As... Well, it is, because it's going so fast that, like, you don't... That, like... You don't see the the wobbling when you're looking at it, right? Oh, it's okay. it's Because it's it's flashing 60 lines per eye per second. Okay. So, you, you're not seeing it. I could be wrong about the exact specifications. My point is, 
that is definitely a thing that's going to break over time. Yes. Um, it is not a portable system, despite the fact that it looks like you can strap it to your head. I wouldn't recommend doing that. Unless you're Keith Apicary. But yeah, the, uh, I will answer that question in a moment after I finish uh, your previous okay. question, which is that uh, my Virtual Boy, one of the eyes is kind of in and out. And until it goes out for good, I don't want to look into what it would take to get that thing repaired. Ooh, yeah, probably a lot of money. Yeah, and I'd rather buy a copy of Virtual Force, the only Virtual Boy game I actually want that I don't have yet. What's that? Oh, it's a vertical scrolling shooter. Shmup. Oh, yeah, of course, you love shmups. Yeah, I need to own it. It's a shame I didn't buy it when it was new, because now it's $120, but whatever. Um... Anyway... What I should actually do is sideload a Virtual Boy emulator onto my Meta Quest 2, but I haven't done oh, that either. so you can look at it in 3D. Yeah, exactly. I was so mad at Nintendo for making a 3D system and oh not my putting God. Virtual Boy games on it. What are you doing? Like, I know you're embarrassed, but not too embarrassed to include Virtual Boy references in WarioWare. Like, just put the games out. What are you doing? I know, I was pissed too. What the? Like, it's like a slam dunk. It's like it's like how there was no Mario paint on the DS. Like, hi, uh, would you like money? I guess not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would you like thousands of dollars? Nintendo? <sighs> Who knows what they're thinking? To answer your question, Keith Apicary is a person that um, he was one of the first to play like a like an intentionally broad nerd character that yes. liked video games on the my, internet. My, my, my. Um, but he made the mistake of making his character not angry. Mm -hmm. So, not as many people know about him. <laughs> uh, yes. I just think he's really funny. He has a good music video about the Neo Geo. Alright, uh, I'll look him up. And uh, he personally kicked me in the head <laughs> at an Anamanaguchi show, and I thought of it as a point of pride. It's very punk rock. He was dressed up in an EL Wire suit, um, mm -hmm. which you'll see in his Virtual Boy video, which is a prank video, so if you don't like prank videos, don't watch it, but I don't like prank videos, and maybe you should watch it. Okay, great, um, I will. He's basically he strapped a virtual boy to his head and he made like a Tron looking suit out of red EL wire. Mm -hmm. um, it's like his virtual boy character. Mm -hmm. uh, and he was swinging from the rafters at Meltdown Comics at an Anamanaguchi show and he kicked me in the head. And I was like, bless you, Keith Apicary, for committing to the bit. I will cherish this bruise. Oh, that's great. <laughs> he was banned from E3 after throwing himself down the stairs out the front for a video. <laughs> I love this man immediately upon hearing yeah, about him. Yeah, he's a delight. I hope I hope I don't learn anything I don't want to know about Keith Apicary. I feel like I feel like once you do enough sketch comedy, I start getting worried. If you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean too. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. Yeah, I know what you mean too. Um, he does, but he does non mean spirited prank comedy, which is very difficult to pull off. Yes, it is. I'm gonna tell you one visual gag because it's not going to be any less funny when you see it but in the virtual boy video the gag of the virtual boy video is basically that he's wearing a virtual boy and walking around la and he can't see and he keeps running into things <laughs> uh but <laughs> there's a moment where there's there's like a there's like a guy in a convertible waiting at, and he's in the he's in the pedestrian crossing so he just walks into the convertible and does like a forward flip into the back of the guy's car and the guy does a double take because oh he's just God. some guy I, oh my god, I He love wasn't it. in on it. Yeah, you can see him in that Beverly Hills way and just be like, what the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait, I'm sorry, I was paying attention to the game. Can you repeat, repeat what he did again? Uh, he was wearing a virtual boy and he... The, a guy in a convertible stopped in the pedestrian crossing, so he just walked into the convertible, to, like, did a forward flip into the back of the guy's car. <laughs> oh, my god. oh my god! I hope that was a broken virtual boy. Oh yeah, I'm sure it is. There are a lot of broken virtual boys. And um, you know what's really cool is a lot of people have these open source projects where they will take a broken virtual boy and turn it into a console that you can hook oh, up wow. to a TV. That's yeah. cool. That's interesting. So basically, I can't decide whether or not I want to do that. Mmm. Yeah. In theory, if both of the eyes break, there's no reason not to do that. I just, you know. Yeah. There's only so many virtual boys in the world. Mine still has the eye cup, so. Yeah, it's probably best to keep it intact. It currently is being protected by a a little hand knitted kitty ear hat. Oh my gosh. That collects dust for it. It's sitting on top of my Xbox. Oh wow. Who knitted it? Um, one of my exes. That's nice. Yeah. A nice ex? 
A very nice X. <laughs> That's good. That's always good to know. Always good to have those in your corner. Um. Well, I don't know that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what were you saying? <sighs> They're not necessarily in my corner, but they are a nice person. Okay, I got you. I got you. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Okay. Okay. You don't need to uh, explain. Um. Let's just say when I I didn't know who I was quite yet, and mm -hmm. I made some decisions that I might not have made had I known what I was supposed to be doing. Uh, I got you. I got you. Yeah. Well, we've all done those, I guess. Um. Oh, so I should kaboom with me? What? Look, everybody's sad and they love kabooms. Although <laughs> some of them are dizzy, and kabooms doesn't make them not dizzy. But like, there's oh, no. Well, okay. Well, there's only one guy here who can kaboom, and it's the mayor. Yeah, so... and I don't think there's any way that you can make anybody permanently mad. So. No, there's definitely not in this game. No. Okay, great. Oh, I did the right thing. Oh. Yes, it's toilet. Oh wow. Always love toilets. I gotta toilets. say, yeah, I'm fine with this. What I don't like is that toilet is drooling. <laughs> no, I don't like it either. Don't like that. I don't like it either. You just pointed it out. Nope. Big nope. <laughs> Welcome back, <laughs> toilet. Oh my god. That's what Twitter should say every time one of those transphobes gets banned for only a week. Oh my god, right? Yeah. They will tell you it is their duty. Oh my god. I wish... I wish two things would happen with transphobes on Twitter. I wish people would stop tweeting the name JK Rowling forever. Yeah, that would be nice! I, like, hi. Why? Everyone? You, do, would you... Do you really... I know, it's probably... Let me start over. We're well past this point, but... Do you honestly want someone that rich and that powerful to become one of those people that only tweets transphobic things forever? Do we want that? Because that's what we're doing. This is a known trajectory at this point. Uh, that guy from whatever, that Glinner guy, I don't know why he was ever famous, but he's not JK Rowling famous. He's not like commands an army of former children famous. Yeah. So like, maybe let's just stop. Like, we know what her deal is. You it's, I was talking to Annie about this a little bit before the show, like, mm -hmm. it's, like, when have you ever seen any one individual call out, make a rich and powerful person with hundreds of thousands, if not millions of fans and bootlicks go, Neh. you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. We, but more to the point, here's my question for society. Do we need Harry Potter around as a franchise? Like, if someone's gonna tell me that when they were young, they kind of liked those first few books, I get where you're coming from. Yeah, I did. But like, do we need like a triple A grim, dark, <laughs> bloated, like third person shooter about how the 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 goblin Jew stereotypes <laughs> are, are bad, actually? Uh, where you keep a slave and it's fine because it was in the book. Like, do we need this? Do we need to be caping for this? Do we need to be talking about it at all? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Right, like. Yeah, and she's trending on Twitter, which I don't see anymore. Not only because I switched to Tweet Duck. Um, Tweet Duck. Yeah, it's a Twitter client. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah, I like choose because I like ducks. I thought that was a typo. <laughs> That's as no. good a reason as any. <laughs> um, no, I chose it because I like the name. Um, and, uh, oh, I need one more. One more poop. Where's the other poop? Yay! Uh, there uh, are can several. I, can I just make anything a poop? I doubt. I think? Oh, wait, that's already a golden. Oh, no. The things no. this game makes you say. Oh, whoa. What? Okay. Um, anyway. Hey, poor Spoon. Uh, he's pretty. He's, they seem pretty happy. Um, you know, you know when people say there's no such thing as bad publicity. I'm not sure we've figured out what people meant by that yet. Because if we did, we wouldn't feel the need to weigh in because people are weighing in, right? Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you, like, girl. It's it's like saying I watched Saturday Night Live last night and it wasn't very funny. It's like yeah. 
Well, it, it's Saturday Night Live. You should know by now whether or not you're going to think it's funny. It's not going to be a different thing next week, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yep, yep. <laughs> the yeah. Simpsons really went downhill. Okay, well, yeah. it's still on TV, so I advise you don't watch it. Like, yep. <laughs> It exists because you tweet the word The Simpsons, and somewhere exactly. a person Thank that buys you. ad time on the show goes ding! Like, that's how culture works now. You yep. can't talk about something until it doesn't exist yes. anymore. That's... And specifically with J.K. Rowling, yeah. she's trending six Every day out now. of seven days of the week. Yeah. If not seven. And Basically, if nothing everyone's else, everyone's fault. Aren't you bored of this? Like, I am. What Lord is, knows I am. What are you? What are you getting out of it at this point? Yeah, my other point about transphobes and transmisogynists are: why <laughs> did we ever decide to start calling them the cute euphemisms? Sorry, you cut out there. Say again. Oh, sorry, I was getting angry too loud. Um. Why did we ever decide to start calling them the cute use of euphemisms? You did it. It happened again. Oh my god, sorry. I'll... You're being censored. Oh my god. <laughs> is... We're being canceled in real time, people. Is OBS? Um, oh, is, is Discord, uh... Is <laughs> Discord, uh... culture is real. <laughs> is Discord canceling me? I, um... It is. Try a third time, and if it happens a third time, I'm getting spooked. Oh, wow. Um... Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll not raise my voice this time. Um... Uh, why are we asking? Why are we referring to transphobes and transmisogynists with the cute euphemisms that they have decided? It happened again. No. Yes, it did. No. Okay, let me I'm, get real close to the mic. Everyone, real I'm gonna sound as crazy as I probably am because <laughs> on Annie's end, it's recording the microphone. Yeah. But I need you to know that I'm hearing what Discord feels like sending to me, and so far, three times it has blanked out the same word. What? The Okay, let me try without saying the word <laughs> transphobes, that recorded, uh -huh. and transmisogynists. Um, <laughs> okay, why, why have we decided? Okay, why have we decided to use, not use, the cute euphemisms that bad people. Oh, that they made up? Yeah, like TERFs and now GCs or gender criticals. Because no one is immune from the, uh, what? How could I put this? The acronymification of discourse. Yes. Like, like how? Um. And and I'm gonna get in trouble here. But the first thing I think of is how, even in the relatively short time that I have been transgender, mm -hmm. there have been no less than three different ways I'm supposed to refer to myself. Oh God! And really? The old ones are bad, right? What? Like. Because enough discourse happened, so so now it's got to be AMAB, and then uh, enough discourse happened, so now it has to be TME, and there's discourse about that. So like, I'm pretty sure it's going to be another acronym next year, and I'm just like, you're just fighting about fighting about words now. Like, at some point you got to remember, it's like you should be nice to people. You should you should say, hey, if someone's not being nice. You should tell that person to be nice. Like. It's usually what it boils down to. Sure, no problem. Um, just getting a message, text message from my bank, uh, which I oh, already. Shoot. It was. You've fine. been, you've been given a fine. You've been penalized for using that word. No, no. Um, I already <laughs> well, confirmed you to the secret police. I already confirmed with my bank that I made a purchase for a train ticket with Am Amtrak. Annie. Um, can you please just uh, put one more poop into the toilet? I'm looking I have for it. Toilet. Where is it? A poop. What? No, I'm looking for it. Right there. You're right there is one. But it's golden already. Put it. Just do it. Okay, I'm doing it. It didn't do anything because it's golden oh. already. Where is the other poop? I've been looking for it all the time. Well, it's not poop yet, I guess. Uh, I guess you need to find an object that's small enough to... Uh, flush and as far as I can see the only thing you haven't flushed yet is that hat that used to be yeah. part of a Okay, well, let's can you finish. flush a hat? Okay. Well, let me see um, I can, let There me that flower. Okay, no, I'm not the uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna flush the flower then if that doesn't work I'll flush the hat Can I oh, no, no! <laughs> okay, well, Let me try flushing. Where's the hat? <laughs> try flush that last flower. Oh Okay, okay, let me try flushing the hat. Okay, 
Okay. Okay, where, where? Okay. God damn it. Oh, this is difficult. No! Annie, go to where the people aren't. And flush that. I'm trying. Go to the flower! The okay, one is not surrounded by individuals in the upper okay, right. Okay, I'm trying, I'm trying. People are moving towards it. Okay, yeah, I'm running. You I'm gotta running. go I'm now. I'm running, I'm running. Uh, okay, I can only pick it up. I can't I can't flush it. It said why to flush. No, but only only when I'm oh, in front of... it's a, Oh, because it's a hat. Yes, it's a hat. Okay, well... Um, Rush out ideas? I am too. In classic fashion, we are tempted... Wait... Eat? We what if I eat the poop? What if I eat the poop is one of the most commonly heard Keita Takahashi game out of context nonsense phrases. Oh! 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 They made a noise! It made a noise! Ta-da! Interesting. I'm back! Oh! Oh, there you go. Why don't you unpoop all the poop with the tree? Oh, let's try that. Wait. Wait a minute, no, because we need four poops on the field to win. We do, we do. Where, okay, where is, uh, Toilet? There he is. Okay, now I'm controlling him. Wow, it's a good thing I already did that whole disclaimer about how I might not physically be able to caption the show anymore, because I'm pretty sure we're at 45 minutes now trying to poop. Oh my god, really? No, we're at 36 minutes. Really? Wow. Which means we should do this action, and then we should go. I gotta oh. trust my inner clock more. Didn't you start a real clock? Yeah, but then it ran out, and... Oh, yes, we've been over this. Um, wait, then I okay. Let... Oh. Okay, well, there's the I big, let... big toilet. Yeah, people that say this isn't a game... Who uh, said that? Anybody that... Um, a lot of people like to say that about things that don't have combat in them. Yes, that's true. And... Keita Takahashi understands. Wait, wait, wait. I flushed the flower. Why did that work this time? Wait, but then the toilet is... Then there's less poops. Huh. You maybe we have... are... You know what? Maybe we are, in fact, a smith to... You know, I think we actually are, in fact, a, supposed to make less poops. I think that's actually the case. Uh, oh, because the ones that aren't poops... Wait, no, they're both sparkling. You know what? Yes, I think that... Because this was making noises. I think that's the whole game, everything makes noises. But it's making like special noises and special animations. No, those are the normal ones. Let's find out. Yeah, I think we need to make four poops. We went to three and then undid them You're all. You're totally right. You're totally right. But where the fuck is the fourth poop? <laughs> Out of context theater. Oh, God damn it. Um, flush. <laughs> I, I do love hearing you uh, in real time give voice to uh, my brain's main conflict with this sort of video game, where when I'm not stuck, childlike joy and whimsy, it's my favorite thing in the world. And then as soon as I'm stuck on a puzzle, it's just, fuck this goddamn game. What the shit? Fuck. I know I fucking ate all the poop. <laughs> Wait, now the poops are totally gone. I don't, there's no food anymore. Wait, Annie, I remembered the solution. You need to make four foods and four foods and turn those into poop. Okay. I'm 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 99% sure about this. Okay. So so you need to um Oh, take the golden things and have the tree eat them. The golden foods. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. I understand. What? Yeah, this you should have heard me and Sarah try to play this game cuz uh -huh. she's one kind of smart. Uh -huh. I'm intuitive about video games and together we're two people that seem to only play video games when we're both really tired and uh -huh. thanks to the playstation 5's uh default record you both through the controller uh <laughs> feature mm -hmm. uh there's just so many recordings of us playing this game and saying stuff like you've been saying this whole time mm -hmm. no you've got to eat the poop i am the poop yeah i know <laughs> i gotta eat you come over here you oh, already ate me that was but you're not golden. oh i think that might have been the problem okay that's poop again that's good yeah. that's good we're making progress um okay wait but the poop isn't golden so it doesn't count what oh wait i think you need things that are not the toilet to eat the fruit and turn it into poop, and then flush the toilet with- flush the poop with the toilet! <laughs> yes, yes, I know. Um, 
I think I understand. I think I understand. That's not but I don't think the tree poops. Does the tree poop? No, but I need to turn the things into fruit again. Oh, okay. This, yeah, I'm so bad at video games. Wow. Um, you're good at some video games, including this I one. am good at some video games, that's true. Um, I am officially terrified of playing Mario Kart with you, but I look forward to it. Why are you terrified? Because I'm very competitive? Well, there's that. Uh, but you're on the record as using some words in the direction of a person that is about as good as me at Mario Kart. Oh. Oh. Evocative. Um, I don't know if that's true. I heard you're very, very good. And also... Yeah, well... You... Okay, so we played, um... This is probably not going to be helpful. What is that game that we both have on Switch that is like an 80s... <laughs> uh... Racer. It's like that Sega racer that we like. Boy, oh boy, that sure don't narrow it down. I know, it doesn't. I figured that was the case. Do you mean... Oh, what do you mean that we both have on Switch? Why do you know that we both have it on Switch? That might help me. Um, yeah. well, only because... Well, okay, here's the problem, is that you probably don't know that I, I have it on Switch, because... <laughs> okay, what is it? I don't remember. Hmm. But how um, do you know that I have it on Switch? Because it showed me all your scores. Your times, scores. rather. Scores. Times, rather. Excuse me. Um, is it a game that's actually f from the 80s? No, no, no. It's a, it's no? a, new, it's a new game. And really? it's like a Sega game? Yes. It's is a... it uh, Horizon Chase Turbo? Uh, that might be it. I don't remember. That might be it? Is it... Oh, gosh. Oh, there's two... It really doesn't narrow it down. You were right. Didn't narrow yeah. it down. Anyway, all your score... All your times, rather, were much faster than mine. Well, okay, I amend my statement. I'm I'm respectably good, if not great, at racing games. Many several racing games and rhythm games. Yes. Uh I can't really think of anything outside those two genres where I really excel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm very uh, excited yeah. to play Mario Kart with you. Um, I, I would be really excited to once again play with Ivy. That would be an interesting, yeah, interesting matchup. I haven't really she gotten says to do that yet. She is not very into competition. We did it! Right. Uh, that's all the more reason for me to play with someone who can uh, give me some. Well, I think competition. She, she, that is. Well, I think she doesn't like competing with people. Is what I'm saying. So I think oh. she, it would be better if we played on teams with Ivy. Teams. Is that even a thing in Mario? Yes, it is. Of course it is. It is? Yes. Are you, are you certain? Yes. Ah. It is an option, I believe. Is I'm pretty, it? I'm pretty sure. Online only? Mm, online, I'm not sure. Um, I, I'm pretty familiar with that game. I... Okay, well, we can look it up Could in a wrong. moment. Could be wrong. Okay, well, let's... You have made four poops. They are currently riding a golden apple. Okay, well, we're just trying to figure out what the... What is the next thing I'm supposed to do so I can save? Oh, wait, I can save now. Yeah, nothing's stopping you. I, I think having created the four poops in the corner is a good... Okay, great. Satisfying. Well, okay, well, that's good. Okay, in that case, let's quit game and uh, log off. Um, and then go leave angry comments on howlongtobeat.com for lying. <laughs> for everybody lying about... <laughs> Uh, using walkthroughs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, well, well, I'm gonna log off and keep talking to Kelly and check in about teams in Mario Kart. Excuse me. <laughs> um, excuse me. One burp, one burp per episode at least. That's okay. It got, it got, um, Discord squashed, so I heard, and check Mario. Just check that guy right in the wall and score on his ass. What about Mario? I'll, oh, check Mario. Oh, I got you, got you, got you. That's all that came through. <laughs> yeah, I got you, I got you. Yeah. <laughs> I actually play Luigi lately, because he's a handsome trans man. Um, anyway. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Anyway, um, thank you for joining us um, in our longest episode to date. Uh, and uh, Oh, gosh, it might be. 45 minutes in half a minute. Um, uh... Thank you, Kelly, for all the transcription work you've done in the past. Thank you for being my co-host. You cut out again. Uh, I hope 
you thanked me for the work that I have done. That's what I did. For the work That's what I did. will do, because... That's what I did. Yeah. <laughs> and I thank you for being my co-host, which you're still doing, currently. Uh, true. Yeah. Haven't quit Until on me yet, yeah. in, uh, in protest. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Maybe next episode. I'll get lucky with that. And me not quitting? Um... <laughs> You don't need luck. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, thank you, Bahal. You can follow us on Twitter at the links below, and you can join the Gamer Gals or go Patreon type John at coffee.com slash handymock. Also in the link below, and watch me and Jesse Swanson um, of Second City <laughs> in Chicago play Star Wars games. Um, he's going to be. Uh, uh. A pal with the gals in our next episode. Um, I'm, I'm really going to miss your subtitles for Star oh. Wars. <laughs> Red-headed boy tries to do good for the good of the Emperor. I just like that it got longer every time. Like, oh, yeah, we're playing The red-headed Point English too. stepchild that went up a hill and came down a mountain, a Jedi. Uh, <laughs> thanks for everything, Julie Numar. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, uh, I we will get back to that game at some point. So, yeah. Um, I hope so. I was really enjoying it. Well, yeah, we're playing Battlefront 2 at this point. Um, anyway, okay, thanks, y'all. Thanks, gal pals and pals of the gals. Um, have a good Fry Dream. We'll be back <laughs> next Fry Dream. I had <laughs> no, no, no. I'm. You know what? I'm coming around too. Let's make it happen. Fry Dream. The word. Fry Dream is gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. It never caught on after Ice Cube said it once in 1994. But uh... in Ice Cube's defense, I'm not sure he intended to make it like a catchphrase that white trans ladies would say. <laughs> decades <laughs> from then but uh, <laughs> uh yeah he's a weirdo he's a trumper Fry and dream. anti-vaxxer um, oh no yeah he, uh, he turned down a nine million dollar movie part because he wouldn't get vaxxed <laughs> uh, that's do you want to know that's my theory about why um this is my this is kelly's last minute conspiracy corner that's my theory for why they're casting chris pratt in all the voice roles oh now. yeah definitely one thousand it's gotta it's gotta be right <laughs> it, it is it definitely is yeah. Anyway, I'm so yeah. glad that, that the world is with me on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's 1,000 percent. Is why you all seem to be fucking Mario. Anyway, whoa! Uh, thanks for that visual. Oh no, that's not right. No, no. Dot wave as a loop. Mama no, mia. no, that's not what I meant. I would never want to imagine Chris Pratt fucking. He he is a man of God. Especially not the the joyful. One of the Italian guys. man that is Mario. Anyway, <laughs> what was Mario? Just wait till the cynical asshole starts running around in a Illuminations production. <laughs> God. Oh God, can't can't wait for that. Okay. Um. Good night, y'all. Bye. <laughs> night. <Or> night. <laughs> oh, yeah, what, Two p.m. It's night apparently, and it is gonna be a good one. Good night. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Have a good afternoon, y'all. Bye. Okay.